what's up guys it's your girl nick and i'm back with another video so on today's video it's kind of going to be like a spinoff of my last video that i shared with you guys so for you that guys for you guys that don't know um a few months ago i posted a video where i basically expressed how i was dealing with depression and anxiety and the amount of love and support that i got for that video like i cannot thank you guys enough for that so i kind of felt like it was only fair that i give you guys kind of like an update of how i am doing and what i've been going through so i have 12 self-care tips that i would love to share with you guys and if you want to find out what that is then just keep watching so number one find or start a hobby um like just trying something new when you deal with depression and anxiety, you kind of get stuck in a rut. Um, you kind of also don't like deviating from like your normal everyday routine. You you like the structure and the routine, and that is totally fine. I'm one of those people. However, I found that starting a hobby or trying some, you know, doing something a little different that I would not have done before has definitely helped me kind of get some spark back, get some life back. Um, one of the things that I've been doing that I started doing a couple of years ago is I used to work on tumblers. Like I used to make tumbler cups and I stopped doing that because it got really overwhelming for me. And I've recently just started picking that hobby back up. And I have to tell you, I am so in love again, kind of like how it was when I first started it. And it has been like a really a nice breath of fresh air to just be honest with you so if there's something that you've been wanting to try and you've kind of been on the fence about it or you're not really sure I definitely recommend you trying it because it could actually be life-changing the second thing I want to recommend to you guys is get rid of clutter like I am probably the most like ultimate hoarder of things I think everything has sentimental value and I never want to get rid of anything and my house kind of like got overwhelmed with things and one of the things that I noticed about like myself is when I don't have control of something or I feel like I'm not in control it causes me to create chaos like within myself so I found that if like my surroundings are very calm and clean and organized then I tend to be more clean like more organized within myself and it really helps me get rid of all the chaos that's in my head because my surroundings are calm and serene. So definitely, 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 if you don't feel like you have control over the outside world, definitely control your inside life and get rid of your clutter. Point number three. Um, I just figured this out not that long ago. I used to hate doing this and I've actually found out that it really makes a difference. So point number three is to get dressed. Just get dressed, get dressed. Do your makeup, do your hair. I don't always put on like a full face beat of makeup every day. I don't have the time for that. We'll probably do a video on that later. But simply just like getting out of your pajamas and getting like into some regular clothes can really, really change your mood and it can change how you feel about yourself. A lot of times I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just like running little small errands or it's my day off and I'm just sitting around in the house. I find that I feel a lot better if I actually get up out of the bed, make the bed, put some clothes on, let my hair down, and that alone like instantly gives me some kind of self-gratification and I feel a lot better. Tip number four, start journaling or planning. I am completely like y'all, I'm completely obsessed with ink pens for those that don't know. Um, for the friends of mine that know me personally, like they know ink pens are like my life. And I am totally obsessed with the Happy Planner. This is not sponsored by Happy Planner. However, Happy Planner, if you guys want to sponsor me, I am so up for that deal. I am completely obsessed with my Happy Planner. I bought tons and tons of stickers and little notes. If you guys have not checked them out, again, not sponsored, just recommending them. They really help to keep me organized. And it's a lot of fun because of all the stickers and extra things that you get to do. I get to decorate my planner however I want to with different stickers and markers and it's just another creative outlet that I use to get out of my head and to get things down on paper. I do use it for brain dumps, um, for keeping up with appointments with myself, with the girls, with this social events that I want to attend and it's just a cute fun way of doing it and instead of keeping all of that in my head, 
I write it down on paper. For those of you that don't like the planning side, I've also started journaling a little bit, which is also still kind of like a brain dump. Um, but just grab a random notebook. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Grab a three ring binder, a spiral notebook, anything, a notepad, and just start jotting things down on your notepad. And I promise you, getting rid of those things out of your head will make you feel 10 times better. Number five, of course, everyone says this. I think all like mom vlogs and just self care tip um, videos tell you this, but it is actually really important. Pamper yourself. Please, please, please pamper yourself. Like, as moms, as single moms, we forget about ourselves because we're so used to taking care of everything and everyone else. You have to learn to pamper yourself. And I would recommend doing like a big pamper night at least like once or twice a month. I mean, get your nails done, do your hair, take a hot bubble bath. Um, you know, we can't all afford to go out and get our nails done. That's totally fine. Like Dollar Tree is so underrated. I think now with all the videos that's coming out, like people are starting to realize like Dollar Tree, like is legit so going to Dollar Tree and grabbing a few products like face masks and bath bombs candles like really giving yourself just a day to just woosah and let your hair down and take care of yourself can definitely help alleviate all the stress that we carry as moms and I would 100% recommend it and if you guys would like to see a me do a video on like a pamper night especially like a Dollar Tree version because I promise you I'm a mom on a budget I cannot afford to go to a spa day. I have to do spa days for myself. So I would definitely do that. Comment down below and let me know if you would like to see me do a pamper night on a budget. Tip number six. Although I said do a pamper night like once or twice a month. Tip number six is take care of yourself each day. Every single day, mom, like you need to take care of yourself, even if it's the smallest things. One of the things that I've started doing for myself is my girls have a very like distinct bedtime. 8.30, they're in the bed for the night. And I use that time for myself. I usually like grab a glass of wine, um, turn on Netflix if it's something I've been wanting to watch, <laughs> watch videos on YouTube, um, come up with different YouTube video ideas, like just that time at the end of the night. To really just decompress and unwind each night is has been very important for me and I would definitely recommend it. Like take that time out like at least every night, even if it's just like 30 minutes, take that time for yourself and it definitely makes a huge difference. Tip number seven. Now tip number seven, um, I just recently discovered just a few months ago, i.e. because of the video, but tip number seven is ask for help. Like... It is okay to ask for help. It does not make you weak. It does not make you less of a person. It does not make you less of a mom. It makes you human. As much as we carry as moms, we cannot do it all by ourselves. And that's why we have our village. And I have to say that I am so thankful and so grateful for my village because I don't think I would have made it this far without them. Like looking at myself back a couple of months ago versus now, it has definitely been a radical change. I still have a long way to go, but that was because I had the courage to like step up and say, I can't do this on my own. And I asked for help. And guys, it doesn't even have to be like to the extreme that I went. Like if your laundry is piling up and you like discover that you're so busy and you can't really get a handle on the laundry. Ask your friend to come over and help. Ask your mom, your mother-in-law, ask your husbands, you know, whomever you have available um, to come in and help you. Please ask for that help because everyone needs help every now and then. It doesn't make you less of a person. And if it helps you take the burden off and ease that load on you, then of course, self-care. I really recommend that you do it. Tip number eight. Oh my gosh. Tip number eight was and still is like the hardest tip that I'm still working on myself. But tip number eight is learn to say no. Oh my gosh. I never realized how big of a deal this was. I was always one of those people that was afraid that if I say no, someone was going to be angry with me. Um, they weren't going to want to, you know, do things with me anymore, or ask me anymore. And I was like, I would let that consume me. And now, <laughs> oh my gosh, learning to say no has become a lot easier. And here's an even a little bonus tip for you. Learn to say no 
and not apologize for it. I used to feel like I had to give explanations to people as to why I said no or why I couldn't do anything or do something they asked me to. And girl, I was apologizing and saying sorry all the time for things I didn't even need to say sorry for. So one of my biggest tips to you to learn as self-care, please say no. Say no because you're busy. Say no because you're not busy. Say no because you simply don't feel like it. Say no because it's Tuesday and it's your only day off and you want to lay home in your sweatpants and eat popcorn and drink a glass of wine and watch your favorite movie. It is okay to say no. And if I don't, if you don't take anything else from anything else in this video that I'm telling you, one of my biggest self-care tips, girl, <laughs> learn to say no. Number nine. Number nine is... Again, I think like these last like four or five I have for you guys is something that I'm still working on personally. But number nine is don't sweat the small stuff. Don't even worry about it. Little things are just that, little things. And one of the things that um, was really hard for me was that I would take little things and manifest them into big things. And that caused me to get in my head and, and the whole like, vicious cycle would start over again. And so what I've learned is don't sweat the small stuff. It's not even that. What's the old saying they say? Um, like water off a duck's back. Like let it roll off. Girl, don't sweat the small stuff. When you start like getting rid and like not even acknowledging the small stuff, your day becomes so much easier. Like I promise. Don't sweat it. Not even worth your time. Number 10. Number 10, learn to give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. You are human. You are a mom. Um, although we like to call ourselves superwoman, we are not superwoman. And if you don't get everything done off your to-do list today, girl, that is okay. If you did three out of the six, congratulations. Like, Applaud yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You accomplished some things off your list and that is a huge accomplishment. Don't beat yourself up because you didn't get through with all six of them. You did three of them. Awesome job, girl. Tomorrow, we can work on the other three. Make those three a priority for tomorrow. You've done enough for today. You've done all you're going to do for today and that is totally okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't say, what if my shoulda, woulda, couldas. Mm-mm. We're not even going to worry about that. We'll give that to another day, another time. Give yourself grace, girl. You definitely have earned it. You deserve it. it. It's okay. It's okay if you don't finish something, if you don't accomplish anything. Just try again tomorrow. Tip number 11. Make plans and stick to them. This can be very hard especially for the ones of us who suffer with depression like you don't want to be around people you don't want to be up around friends a lot of times you don't even want to get out of the bed like people don't understand simply getting out of the bed when you're dealing with depression is a huge huge accomplishment for us but I challenge you guys I've been challenging myself to make plans with friends with family make plans with yourself make plans and actually stick to them like force yourself to get out of the house, even if it's just to go to the grocery store alone. Like, I never realized how magical that moment is. I love going to Walmart by myself. Like, the time that the girls are in school and, like, in daycare and I go to the grocery store, a lot of times, I don't even have to go for anything. I just go just to get out of the house, just to get up some fresh air. Go sit in the yard. If you're not ready to, like, go venture out, Simply get up, put on your clothes, and go sit outside. Just get some fresh air. You will find that like getting out of your house and like breaking that norm will totally do something like for your self-esteem, for your confidence, for your self-care, and it'll make you a better person. Eventually, you'll actually like getting up and getting out because staying inside the house will totally give you cabin fever. So definitely make your plans and stick to them. All right, guys, my last and final tip, number 12. And this, I think, has to be one of the most important, at least for me. Although all of them are important to me, this one has really, like, hit home for me. Number 12, take it one day 
at a time. One day. That's all you can do. I struggled really hard because I was stressed so bad about what I had to do tomorrow when I was barely even making it through today. So I know I hate this saying like tomorrow's not promised. And I mean, I'm not trying to be all religious with you guys, but like it's kind of true. Tomorrow is not promised. And I would worry so much about future things that I was forgetting to be present and worry about today. So not even just taking it one day at a time, slow down and take it one step at a time, one second at a time. And again, if you don't get everything done, it is totally okay. We can make plans to try again tomorrow, but like, don't obsess about it. Don't obsess about things that are in the future that you have no control over. Try to center yourself and control what you can control, which is today, right here, right now, in this moment. That's the only moment that's important, is the current one that you're in. So don't steal that time away from yourself because you can't get it back. So learn to just, whew, wusa, light a candle, whatever it takes for you, but learn to just take it one day at a time. I promise you, I promised you, we were gonna make it. We're still gonna make it one step at a time. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. Like, thank you so, 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 so much for hanging in there with me. Um, this journey has definitely been just that, a journey. And I promise you, it's not always gonna be easy. There's gonna be ups and downs. I have bad days. I just had one a couple days ago. Um, and it's totally fine. You're gonna have bad days. The biggest thing we have to learn is that we have to get up, whew, dust ourselves off, and try it again. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, because obviously you did, you made it to the end of the video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead. I'll wait. Hold on. We'll... You did it yet? Good. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope these tips are helpful for you as they were for me. So until my next video, I love you. Mwah. Mean it. Bye.